everybody, it's Heather at Fairview Garden Center, and as you can see, our mums are blooming and fall is in the air. But we wanted to talk to you today about some other options of flowers and foliage that you can use to create a beautiful fall doorstep without just using mums and pumpkins. All of these plants pair really well when you're creating a beautiful fall arrangement. Of course, we have flowers like this sunflower that are blooming this time of year. Beautiful backdrop for photos and also pair really nicely for a big pop of color on your doorstep. We also have zinnias and zinnias, of course, are annuals in our area. But our first frost is not usually until late October or early November. So we have plenty of time to get the beautiful blooms and colors. Of course, this one has a mixture of all sorts of colors like whites, yellows, reds, pinks. We also have other zinnia options that have multicolor blooms. And many of our plants come in these plastic terracotta pots so you can just put them directly on your doorstep without having to have a container for them to go in. Um, other flowering options, marigolds, the fetid odor of these help keep mosquitoes and other insects away. And we have marigolds in lots of different colors that are all over the fall color rainbow. Celosia is one of my favorites. My kids love it because the flowers are almost furry, like you can pet them on your doorstep. This comes in a variety of blooming colors. Coxcomb is another word for this. We have this other variety of celosia where you get a lot of color out of not just the beautiful flowers, but also the foliage and the stems. This will continue to grow tall and upright so they'd be beautiful behind your mom's. Speaking of behind your mom's, you don't have to think about just flowers. There's lots of things you can do for texture with foliage. A lot of people like to put corn stalks uh, in their fall displays, but you don't have to use cut corn stalks. You can use potted plants like this beautiful millet that gives a look of a corn. This one is called Jade Princess. You can see that the foliage is chartreuse green and then it gets this beautiful bloom color that's a deep burgundy to black um, and looks like a flower kind of bloom, almost like a corn stalk. There are other varieties of millet that give you a little bit deeper, darker colors. This one is called Purple Baron. You can see from the purple stems and the purple leaves and they just look beautiful when they blow in the wind. Other foliage options, you could go with something gray or white or smoky like this Dusty Miller. Heuchera or coral bells come in beautiful fall colors. This is an evergreen. You can use it in your containers or doorsteps or plant it in your landscape and then it'll get a beautiful little coral uh, shaped coral bell bloom at the top that attracts pollinators. These also come in a variety of different colors all over fall color, as you can see. We can't forget about autumn fern. Fantastic texture, normally more of a shade plant, but the good thing when you're thinking about winter container gardens or just styling with plants, um, the angle of the sun in the fall and winter is a little bit different, so we don't have to worry about intense sun exposure. So if you get afternoon sun on your doorstep, this will tolerate it through the fall. But then if you want to plant it in your landscape after you're done with your styling, um, you would plant it in a shady spot in your garden. Grasses are always a great addition for color and texture in a container garden or any sort of arrangement. Carex and a chorus are good options for fall. This one is called Red Rooster. And I know it looks brown and dead, but that's actually the way it's supposed to look. The stems are kind of burgundy and it pairs nicely with different fall colors and gives you beautiful texture. There are other options that kind of spill over like this New Zealand sedge. This one is called Amazon Mist and it's more of a greenish white color. And it also is beautiful when it blows in the wind and can be beautiful to spill over a container garden. Speaking of spilling over a container garden, there are some spilling options you can use like this Outback Sunset Lismachia. You see that it has this beautiful yellow and green color now. And as the temperatures cool and it gets some new growth on it as well, it gets more of a burgundy copper color, which gives you that fall interest. 
And it also has a little yellow flower this time of year. Wire vine is another great draping option for color and texture in when you're just setting it on the porch or if you want to plant it in a container garden or window box. Here we have ornamental peppers, always a great fall option. We have one variety that actually has purple foliage and then we have several different ones with different colors of peppers from yellow and orange to red and purple. Last but not least, what I want to remind you of are two favorite fall foliage plants. Coleus is a great option to give you that fall leaf color. Um, and again, it is an annual, but will last through first frost and pair well and last just as long as your mom's will on your front doorstep. And we can't forget about cabbage and kale, an old staple. This is red board, red boar kale with a beautiful curly leaf and purple stem. Again, pairs beautifully with your mom's and think of all this with beautiful pumpkins. We also have several varieties of pansies. It's early in the season for the pansies. They're just getting started, um, but they're great to plant in your landscape in early October, late September, and they will pair nicely with all these combinations you have up here. Stop in, we can give you ideas, help you with all of this. We also have a service where we'll come out to your house, plant your container gardens, or arrange a beautiful fall doorstep to create a welcoming fall entrance. We hope to see you soon this season. Thanks. <music>